Hey guys, welcome to my general tutorial for Ray Meter for beginners. Now, I'm going to split this video into multiple parts, including downloading and using skins and layouts, and the basics of Ray Meter, and making the 3D effects that you can see on my screen with the snow going behind the mountains as an example. And I'll keep the timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. And I'll see you there. Okay, so installation of Raymeter is very simple. Just go to raymeter.net and go to the downloads and download the final release. You can also download whatever is in front of it, usually a beta, but that's your choice. So after you download the final release, open, up in, open it up in your file explorer and go through the installer. It's very simple, so I'm not going to do it here. Because besides, I already have Raymeter installed, so it would cause issues. Anyway, after you open up Raymeter, you'll have a few skins open on the side. They're called the Illustrator skins. They're basically the uh, default skins that come with Raymeter. They have your CPU temperature, or not temperature, CPU usage, and all these different little things that, that you can look at and just know about your computer. If you want to keep those, keep them. But if you don't, all you have to do is right-click them. Like right here. I'm using this skin as an example. Just right-click them and unload skin. Now, when I say skin, I'm talking about all the aspects of Raymeter. So I just unloaded whatever was there, that skin. That was uh, my clock, so that's only what time it was. This is my launcher. It opens up different applications, such as Opera, for example, that one. And then these dots are actually a visualizer, as you saw in the beginning of the video. They move along with the music. And the snow here, that's also a skin. And even the mountain right here, that's a skin. I'll explain how that works a little later. So all these skins are things that you download from the internet and use as part of Raymeter. So if you want to get some skins, Two really simple places to get them are Rain Hub, Rain Hub, sorry, Rain Meter Hub, and the uh, Deviant Art. Right. Uh, another place you can get them is the Rain Meter Desktop Customization Tool uh, subreddit. Now, of course, they, you're not actually going to download it from here. What you're going to do is, let's say, you look at somebody's theme or showcase, and you like something in there. You go to the comments, and they'll have the links in the comments. So let's say I want this Glow Pulse Visualizer. So I go here and file dropper. Okay, so this is another download the place you can download them. Although I'm just gonna do with let's say Red Vision Deviant Art because this is the most popular. So just on the top right corner, you'll have the download button. Just click that, go to your file explorer, and double click install. And that should install. It's all these skins are really lightweight, so they'll install quickly. After you install it and open it up. It should just open up here, with, along with all your other Raymeter skins. So here is the skin that we just installed. I think it's, what was it called, Red Vision, or Red, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. So so this is the clock, so you can just have it in the corner. You can move it whatever you want to uh, look at it. And you have a bunch of options that come with different skins, such as this one right here. Uh, okay, so you go, so in this Manage Raymeter box, this is where, oh, oopsie. I clicked something here. So this is where all your choices and uh, op options are when it comes to Raymeter. So if you open up re uh, Red Vision, which will probably be the second uh, thing, or the, yeah, will be the second one. You have three more folders: Clock, Launcher, and visual Visualization. Jeez. Uh, all these folders have any files in them or INI files. These are the actual skins themselves. So if you, let's say you want to have a 12 hour clock, you just load that and it replaces the original 24 hour clock with the 12 hour clock. And so unload, you can do it here. And all the options that you have here when it comes to refreshing, unloading, editing, all those, you can also get by right clicking them. So that's pretty much it when it comes to getting an app, uh, a, ra a, a launcher or a non-launcher, sorry, a skin. Now you can also, load all these other things that come with it because most skins come with multiple things now you have a bunch of options when it comes to that, that using the skins like coordinates you can instead of dragging it to somewhere you can write a specific coordinate so for example i don't know 321 2013 and that's exactly right here and it starts from the top left corner uh, and then position you can uh, choose where uh, uh, on your desktop it is so say top most let's say you open up opera it's going to be over opera or whatever web browser you use, or whatever. Uh, say bottom, or on desktop, I'll just keep it on desktop, so you, whenever you open up an application, it stays there. On bottom, uh, that means, makes it so it stays on the bottom, so 
basically. Yeah. And normal, that's just like, if you click it, then it'll be on top. And then if you click something else, it'll be on the bottom or that. And, but basically you wanna keep it on desktop. Or on the bottom, doesn't really matter. Load order is which, uh, it's the order that it loads. So let's say I wanna have the snow go behind the mountain. You just make it load before the mountain. So let's say the snow is load order one, and then the mountain, which I'll, again, I'll explain this, but this is actually a skin on its own. All you do is cut out the this part from the wallpaper and make it into a skin. I'll show you how. But you just make that, let's say, load order two, and have the snow be one, and then the snow goes behind the mountain. It's pretty simple. And I'll get to that in my you know, making 3D effects portion of the video. And so, and then transparency, that's pretty obvious. You just make it more transparent. On hover, do nothing. Fade, hide, all these, again, very uh, simple options, self-explanatory. All these draggable, makes it not draggable or draggable. Click through, makes it so you can click through it instead of on it. And uh, that's basically, I guess if you have a clock, you don't wanna accidentally click it for whatever reason, then there we go. And you turn off draggable as well. And there we go, you can't really hide. Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing, huh? There we go, sorry about that. And now you can't move the clock list, so it's just stuck there. Uh, keep on screen, that's pretty obvious. It keeps it on screen, so let's say uh, I have it on, there, it won't let me move it off the screen, as you can see. If I turn it turn off, I'll keep on screen, it'll go, it'll go, there we go. It'll just follow your cursor, there we go. And then save position, that keeps the position saved, so you don't, whenever you open up Rain Meter again, it saves, it was where you left it last. Snap to edges, pretty obvious, snap to edges of things. And then favorite, that just makes your favorite. Uh, that just gives it a favorite so you can find it easily later on. Now display monitor is where you can choose to put it on different monitors if you have multiple monitors. Now I only have one so I don't have any other options. And then that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, the options that you have here. You can also edit skins. Uh, if you know a little bit more about what you're doing, you can edit them. You can also do that by right clicking by the way. So oops, that's the wrong option. There we go, edit skin. And now you have all the file uh, code here. It's by the way, it's in the Lua uh, code or language. So you can simply change things by I don't know, going to font size and changing it to 1,230 if you want to. Then save it, refresh, and it might be pretty big or not. See, I'm not, oh, there we go, I don't know. And so yeah, it's obviously what you do. And uh, yeah, you can all do all these things and now, the thing is, if you're going to edit something, especially if you want to change the color or whatever, the author probably has a set of variables, and those are an easy way of changing the skin without actually messing anything up. So here we go. This one actually doesn't have that, but let's say the the rain dot, which is the visualizer I have here, this one does. So variables, and here we go, all the variables, and you can't really screw anything up here. Let's say bar count, you can change it from 53 to, I don't know, 60 or whatever, and add seven more dots. And everything's very simple and easy to understand when it's in the variable thing. And that is pretty much what it comes to downloading and using skins. Now there's another thing that that's called layout. So it's in the second uh, tab of the manage reanimator box. And here layout let you save the set of uh, skins that you have open as a layout. And so whenever you wanna open it up after you change the skins that you have, you can go back to what it was originally. Now let me just explain, show you because it's probably hard to explain. So for example here, Color Mountain, let's open that up. This is an old layout that I had. And then now, well, let's say we wanna go back to a different one, right? And so here we go, another layout. And let's just go back to the one we had originally. And there we go. Now, I guess this layout did not was not saved with increased current wallpaper, which is why the wallpaper did not save. So right now we'll just go back to this for now. Anyway, now if you wanna make a layout, it's pretty simple. Just go to layouts and click uh, ex exclude unloaded skins and include current wallpaper. Because as you saw, if you don't, if you say, if you do save as empty layout, then you won't actually get to save the wallpaper and then it's just gonna look ugly whenever you load it up after something else. Uh, so name it something whatever you want so i already have this i'm not going to make a new one but anyway winter time there we go you have it now that's pretty much when it comes to layouts and 
that is the basics of rain meters. So if you have any questions, put it in the comments, but you're basically done. Now for the second part, we're going to be doing the 3D effects that I was talking about. So for this portion of the video, I'm going to teach you how to do the 3D effects that you're seeing currently with my snow going behind the mountains. And sometimes you see visualizing uh, coming out of the mountains as well. So the process for this is actually really simple. This mountain or this that your, the snow is going behind is actually a skin. Let me unload that. And now you see that the snow is going in front of the mountain. So the skin is simply just a cutout of the wallpaper that goes in front of the wallpaper for the, so um, the snow or visualizer or whatever it is goes behind the skin, making it look like it's actually coming from behind the wallpaper. So let me just show you that in the skin here. I have my cutout here, .ini file. It goes in, if I go to edit, there you go. And uh, just to make that skin, it's really simple. You go to Raymeter, skin, and then make a new folder. Name it whatever you want. So there we go. So actually, yeah, that's already taken. So all right, make a new text document inside of it. And just call it mountain cut as well. And change the .txt to .ini. Now, if it doesn't say that, I'll click yes, by the way. So if it isn't there, what you have to do is go to view up at the top and then click file name extension. Then it will say .txt and you can erase it and write ini. So now just open it up and copy down all of this text. All right, there we go. So update 1000 means update every 1000 milliseconds, which is one minute or one second. Rewall is just the name of the meter. It doesn't really matter what it is. Meter equals image. That tells it that it's an image. Image name is this is the location of the image. And then width and height, that's the resolution of your monitor. So I am actually, I actually have a 1920 by 1200 monitor. Usually it's a 1920 by 1080 monitor though. And then tile zero and perspective, preserve, preserve aspect ratio is zero. So after you have that, just file save, close. And then close that. And when you go back to your manage ring meter, just refresh it all. And you should get mountain cut right there. There we go. And we open this up. And I'll show this. Yeah, there we go. So right now we don't have anything. The snow is going in front of the wallpaper. Reload. And there we go. It went in front of the wallpaper or behind the wallpaper. Now, obviously, this is a really badly done cut. So it's not going to look very good. And uh, yeah. But if you if you notice that you can't drag it, that's because um, keep on screen is enabled. If it's such a big uh, skin, you're gonna usually accidentally drag it outside of your screen. So just disable that; it's not necessary. And then align it with the mountains in the background. Now, if you see that it's different, oh wait, no, it's not. There we go. Okay. So if you do see that your uh, your the wallpaper or the cutout does not fit with the wallpaper, that may be because the image that you ha you have gotten from the internet or whatever is actually not the same size as your uh, screen, and your screen has uh, either selected a portion of it or stretched it out or done something to it to so the image fits the entire screen. If this happens, uh, we have a, f a f few options. One of which is to go to your uh, taskbar, go to settings automatically hide taskbar in desktop mode. That's the only one turning on. And now click this bottom right thing and it should close on its own. And then just get rid of all your skins, get rid of everything. And then I'm not gonna do it. But then you should have basically an empty screen with just that picture. And then you can just take a uh, screen cap and there you go, you got the picture and then you can cut that out and it will fit. And that's pretty much what you have to do in order to get the 3D effects. That's pretty much it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is actually one of my first videos ever, so if the editing's a little bad, it was that's me trying to fix my weird uh, order of things, so it's a little more viewable for you. Uh, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that, and liking and commenting. It makes me very happy. All right, guys. See you in the next one.